Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we have got a Sir Spooks video and this is 7 scary videos that will make you stay inside. We don't give anything to it. Ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all hit the like button, hit subscribe button, comment your thing down below. If you'd like to help me out with a donation, you can do a super thanks. All link to my PayPal is in the description below. You do drop any sort of donation either by super thanks or by PayPal. You will be shouted out in future videos. Let's go. Sir Spook scare me. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 7 scary videos. Okay. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe for more scary content. Alright, with that said, let's begin. When working as a custodian anywhere, you would probably expect it to be quite the safe job. Is it a little bit gross? Sure it can be, but it's not unsafe or anything like that. Or is it? These two videos were uploaded to TikTok by a user who says that he works as a custodian at a haunted school, stating that his co-worker sent him the following piece of footage. Let's take a look and see what happens. Okay, what happened? This is definitely one of those videos in which a bit of explanation will help things out a bit. If you listen very carefully, you can almost hear what sounds like some sort of a crying ghostly entity moving right by the custodian before eventually disappearing into thin air. It's remarkable just how quickly this happens before the ghost seemingly disappears. The second video that was uploaded by the custodian showcases a machine that has motion sensors set up in the school meaning that it will only get activated once somebody has walked right by it. So what in the world is going on here? Okay. Oh, it's turning on! Someone's nearby, but turn on. What the hell? Cause I, it doesn't work from distance. A most such thing, you have to at least be close enough from a certain distance for something like that, especially. You would have to be a certain amount of distance for it to work. That's insane. As you can see, the motion sensors continuously flicker on for several seconds throughout the duration of the video much to the confusion and fear of the custodian in the school. To this day, this is a case that has not been solved. What do you guys think is going on here? Do you think that there was a crying ghost wandering around the school? If so, why do you think it was crying? I'd love to hear all your theories in the comments. The following video was posted to the popular ghost subreddit by a user known as Leon is a ghost a couple of weeks ago. Oh, we've seen this one before. We've seen this video before. Oh, and has been taking the online paranormal community by storm. Leon states that he lives in a house that was built in 1926, which is quite interesting and kind of cool <coughs> to say the least. He says that he believes that there's a ghost that is roaming the house constantly but he states that he thinks that the ghost isn't malicious at all, but rather instead, he thinks it's mischievous. He says that he's been trying to capture some of the activity that happens around the house for months on end, but to no avail. That is, however, until this particular video in which he finally captured something. Take a look. Oh, Hannah. Oh, yeah, nah, bro. Nope. Nope, I knew that. Nope. Not happening. Not me. Oh, 
Oh, light's flashing. Oh, hey, no. Baby, get out of it. Boy, whoever lives in this house, you better out of There's some horror movie shit right here. There's some horror movie shit right up in here. Dude. As you can see, the what was the ghost trying to accomplish there? I mean, it opened the door, not fully, just enough. It flickered the light on and off. It stopped and opened the door back up and it stopped what it was doing. What was the goal of that thing? Someone explain that to me. The video clearly shows evidence that there's something quite bizarre going on inside of Leon's house. The footage that he ended up getting on camera shows some lights flickering on and off constantly while the door is closing and opening. Nobody is quite sure of what exactly is going on in this video. We all just know that it's very creepy. I mean, this is probably a video you could be easily faked. This is a video that could be so easily faked, you have no idea. If there truly is a ghost living in Leon's house, whether he thinks it's harmless or not, I think it's probably a good idea for him to move out someplace else as soon as possible. A man known as Jordan G posted a video to his YouTube channel on November 11th, 2021 that showcases some eerie footage. Jordan says that he works as a security guard someplace, with this particular video being recorded at 5.30 in the morning. Jordan takes his phone camera and zooms in on one of the security cameras located directly in front of him, highlighting a passageway down on the street with a sewage drain that's locked off. But there also appears to be something else down there. Something that may or may not be friendly. Is it this thing or is it something else? Am I gonna am I just looking at something that isn't there? Take a look. Hey man, so I'm sitting up here at work, right? I'm a security guard, guys. It's 538 in the morning. This passageway down there for the sewage drain, that's locked off actually. And you see them glaring eyes right there, right? Now mind you. I don't know what the hell that is down there, but it's weird, bro, because, like, it popped up, and as the camera, as you can see, is black and white, as the other ones is in color, you see, I can zoom out on it, and I can zoom in on it, and the eyes are just glaring, like, I don't know what the hell that is, man. I see two eyes. Like, it's I not a person. I see two eyeballs. What the heck? I don't know if it's a dog man or something. It's something back Come there. Come on Do you see it? A pair of creepy glowing eyes can be yeah. seen staring down near the passageway. Jordan says that he has absolutely no idea as to what these creepy eyes could possibly belong to. However, a lot of people in the comments seem to think that these eyes belong to that of the dog man. For those who are unaware, legend has it that in eight. Why though? What, are, what about these eyes made them go, that's dog man? Like, they're just, it seems like they just, they just kind of associate that. I guarantee you, if you go through the comments section, I think most people associate those eyes with every creature that can be found on the planet of Earth and every creature that the humans have come up with because it's just too glowing and eyes do not associate with any, you, I don't know how you associate them with fucking anything, they're just eyes. 1987, residents of Wexford County, Michigan, were startled by the sight of a mysterious creature roaming the woods. Descriptions varied, but most agreed it was a towering figure, standing at an imposing seven feet tall. Its eyes, reported as either piercing blue or amber, seemed to gleam with an otherworldly intelligence. Witnesses spoke of a creature that defied easy categorization, part man, part canine, with a haunting howl that echoed through the night, chilling the bones of all who heard it. This enigmatic being came to be known as the Dogman, a figure steeped in local folklore and whispered tales. According to the stories, the Dogman emerges from the shadows once every decade, making its presence known in years that end with the number 7. Reports of sightings have persisted over the years, scattered across the state of Michigan, but particularly concentrated in the northwestern reaches of the Lower Peninsula. Despite skeptics dismissing the creature as nothing more than a product of overactive imaginations, 
the allure of the Dogman in Jaws. So what do you guys think? Does this video show the infamous Dogman, or- No, it shows me two glowing fucking eyes and nothing more and nothing less. Is this something else entirely different? Please feel free to share your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. This TikTok video was posted to the platform by a young girl named Sawi. In the video, we watch as she wanders around outside in the middle of the night, seemingly walking around a grassy hilltop area. The walk, see where this failed was walking around in the middle of the night. Cause I ain't walking nowhere in the middle of the fucking night cause I ain't nowhere to be in the middle of the fucking night. While talking to the camera. At first, Nothing scary seems to be happening, but things quickly take a seriously sinister turn in just a matter of moments. Watch this. Okay. Seban está en la pieza, pero... You seem ve This already girl seems very young for someone to be out in the middle of the night. The middle of the night is the main thing I'm hearing. Did you see it? No. Out of nowhere, a mysterious figure can be seen standing right behind this tree, which Sawi notices almost instantly. At which point she screams and proceeds to run away for dear person. life. What? Sadly, we never really get a good look at the figure that's standing behind the. I'm gonna assume that's what this is, right? Because I can't, I can't make out a figure at all. Maybe I'm blind. I just can't see it. Tree. So we can't really say for sure whether or not the figure looked to be oh. human. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Here you can make it out because, like, you can see the head. head. Maybe there's a body here. Okay, I can, I can someone make it out now. No, that. For sure, whether or not the figure looked to be human or something else entirely. Either way, it's an unsettling video that just goes to show you that danger is lurking. Let's just say this. It's good she noticed this, because she seemed young, and the last thing you want me is this guy watching this person. I'm going to say this guy. This guy watching you at night, in the middle of the night, when you're in the middle of nowhere. Around every corner, even when you think you're alone. Remember this video next time you're walking somewhere alone at night. A YouTuber known simply as BW posted a video to his channel which showcases video footage of him driving on the Crow's Nest Highway 3, located in British Columbia, Canada, at 2.48 in the morning on July 30th, 2023. A lot of people think driving in the middle of the night on a long dark road, such as this one, would be super creepy and for good reason. However, usually those fears don't turn into anything. Except in this video, they do. As the man drives smoothly, all of a sudden, he spots something on the road that would be enough to scare the soul right out of anybody's body, no matter what time of the day it is. Take a look. Okay. Oh my god, a person! Oh hell no, bro! Oh hell no! Out of nowhere, a woman wearing some kind of a white wedding- Okay, well it's not out of nowhere, it's not like he just came out of- Like he- there was enough time for her to walk onto the road. It's just- yeah, she- The fuck she doing staying on the road for? In the middle of the night? What are you doing? dress can be seen simply walking in the middle of the road for no discernible reason. Yeah. The uploader seemingly sees this, as you can see him swerving the car a little bit in order to avoid colliding with the mysterious woman. The man continues driving afterward, which was probably a smart idea in case this was some kind of a witch or ghost or something. I'd say. Regardless, it definitely makes you wonder what in the world was going on here. Ghosts are believed to appear on rural roads at night due to. She had her hand up, so probably one of she thought like she was trying to. 
Or what's it called? Oh god, my brain's not working right now. It's late. What does it do? You, you stick your thumb out and you try to get a gum to take you somewhere. What the? Is it hitchhiking? Is that what's called? I think that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? Maybe there's another word for it. I don't remember. I think it's hitchhiking, but I don't think so. Various reasons. Some suggest they are tied to tragic events like accidents or untimely deaths that occurred in those locations, while others speculate they linger due to unresolved emotions or unfinished business. So could this be a ghostly woman on the road, or was it simply a strangely behaving person? After watching this video, make sure to be extra careful the next time you find yourself driving on the highway in the dark. For over a century, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania has echoed with eerie tales of the supernatural. Ghostly whispers of fallen soldiers and spectral apparitions haunt the historic town, where the echoes of the Civil War still reverberate. In July 1863, the fields of Gettysburg bore witness to one of the bloodiest battles in American history. Over three days, Union and Confederate forces clashed in a savage conflict that left thousands dead and wounded. The aftermath was a scene of unimaginable horror, with the cries of the dying echoing across the battlefield. Yet even after the cannons fell silent, the scars of war endured. Many Confederate soldiers were denied proper burials, their restless spirits perhaps doomed to wander the fields of Gettysburg for eternity. Now more than 140 years later, these lingering spectres continue to cast a shadow over the town, their presence a haunting reminder of the cost of war. This chilling video posted to YouTube by a channel named Reflections of America follows a group of investigators driving out to the area in order to see if they can capture anything creepy on camera. For the first minute and a half or so, we watch silently as nothing of interest happens. However, that quickly changes, and this simple video- Oh, I know what this clip is. Um, there's part of me that wants to believe this is real, because this is insane. I don't know if- don't think it is, but there's part of me that wants to believe this is real. Because I'm a man that loves military, loves military history, loves- wants to learn about military. Um, I wish there was a channel that, like, helped with that. There probably is, but I don't know what they are. But I want to learn. I love everything military. This is amazing. The belief that if there were going to be spirits, that spirits of soldiers would exist is completely believable to me. This, this video is amazing. I wish it was real. Video rapidly turns into something absolutely terrifying. Let's take a look. Holy, holy crap. Down by the can, you see that? Oh, what is this? This is amazing. Look at it. You see oh this? God. Right here. Watch this. Is it? There's a dude walking. You see the dude walk you see the walking? No way. What is that? Look like at dude I have walking. no friggin' idea. Did you get that on the camera? Oh my god, I, that's it's recording. So amazing. I oh my gosh, so did you see that? I, did you honestly? I, I wouldn't believe it unless we recorded it. If you look just about where the cannons are positioned on the grass, you can see what looks to be some kind of a ghostly entity lurking right behind them for about 20 seconds before disappearing entirely. Oh, it's amazing. This is definitely quite an in I want this to be real so badly. interesting video to watch, especially if you're someone who finds the Gettysburg stories fascinating. If this video is indeed real, then it serves as a bold reminder to never venture out to this area in case you spot something such as this. In the last video I uploaded, we explored part 1 of Chris aka Herbex Hill's exploration of this abandoned and allegedly haunted school, which seemed to be absolutely loaded with scares. Sadly, this is a school in which a teen lost their life outside on the steps of the school a few months prior to Chris recording the video. It's a sad story that makes the place seem even more unsettling. As Chris wanders around the school, just about four minutes in, we already see him experiencing some rather chilling activity. Hold on, is it the one I think it is? I really hope it isn't. Ok, 
Okay, I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Because if it's the one where you pulls the curtain and someone was screams and he runs, I really get very annoyed. Because that is, I've seen that way too many fucking times. I love Urbex Hill, and I, I don't know if he did. I, I would love to act to just a full thing of his, but God, I'm sick of that video. <laughs> Watch as he stumbles upon a gate that he doesn't remember being there at all. Oh crap. I do not remember this being here. Hello? Hello? So someone's there. That tells you someone's. Th oh boy. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, Chris, you better run. The fact that this random gate was placed in the school randomly after the fact just makes things that much more unsettling. Uh huh. How in the world did this gate get here, and why? Who exactly put it there? It all remains a mystery. Chris nevertheless decides to continue exploring the building which proves to be a gigantic mistake. At around the 35 minute mark of the video, Chris finds himself in the storage room, which seems to be in huge disarray as you can see. But what's even creepier is what he finds on the ground. I'm talking to you as a man here. That's the end Don't of do it, Urbex. Don't do it. And you walk fine. away. Walk away. No, no, not forward, backwards. No. No. That this man's insane. I'm starting to think he's lost it. I'm starting to think he's not. I think. Urbex, I think you're playing a game where you really not could not win. My man, you need to be way more cautious of this shit than you are. I'm just. You way non cautious enough when it comes to this shit. Somebody was bleeding. Dude. Is this real? Fuck. Bro. Bro. This looks like a torture area. They got a chair. Uh, I don't know what he sends in there. There's a chair meat. there. And I think it's where he ties someone up. And there's the gang attack gang area. Room. Well, you need to get the fuck up out of there. Chris finds blood on the floor. This then leads through a door with 666 sprayed on it. Inside are a pair of shoes, and the blood is all over. Then, he finds bullet casings besides the blood. Then, what he hears next surely sends some shiver straight down his spine. Yo, there are bullet cases. As you can see, Chris hears knocking sounds very close to the crime scene. Just a minute or so later, Chris hears something yet again, but this time it's something somehow even creepier. 
At this point in the video, some additional narration is required. You see, unfortunately at this exact moment, my camera stopped recording, but I immediately noticed and pressed record to continue filming. I also want to point out that normally in a situation like this, I would have remained calm. But after hearing the stories of the murder that took place here, and seeing what looks like blood and bullet casings on the floor, I decided to leave, instead of investigating any further. Somebody's in there. Chris then takes a look at his IR camera, which seems to showcase some genuinely bizarre activity on it. Watch this. Chris, one time you're gonna enter this place and you are going to either get beaten up or possibly killed. So I'm saying you need to be cautious. You need to be ca Carry a weapon at least. Carry a weapon. You don't need to show us it. Carry a weapon on you in case. I did. I missed it. Oh! Good eye. Nope, didn't see that at all. First time. The camera seemingly shows someone walking in the reflection of a mirror, which is quite unsettling to say the least. But his second IR cam captured footage that might just be even creepier than the previous recording. See that? Nope, I saw the orb. I saw the orb thing. I think that was an orb. Bro! What's that? It just darts. It darts across the damn hallway. Dude. What the f is crossing that thing? As you can see, some kind of a shadow person can be seen running through the hallway, caught on a second IR cam. This is one school in which learning is an afterthought. Right now, it's a school that will only strike fear into the hearts of those who dare enter it. And that was... Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all for the next one.